So yesterday I was up in Custer State Park in South Dakota. Um, it's really pretty up there. There's all of these pointy jagged rocks. I was actually filming some content for a future video, but while I was at it, I snapped a couple of landscape shots just using my Samsung Galaxy S10. And I really like how this photo turned out, so I went ahead and dropped it into Photoshop to see if I could spruce it up a bit. And here are my results. It's pretty heavily edited, but I like how it looks, so I just wanted to show you guys my Photoshop workflow for what I did to this photo and how you can get these same results in your smartphone photos just with a couple of really simple steps in Photoshop. So the first thing I did right off the bat was get rid of this boring sky situation that we have going on here, which the latest update to Photoshop made incredibly easy. All you gotta do is go to edit, sky replacement, and then just choose any photo from your library that you wanna use as your sky and hit OK literally takes like two seconds and we've replaced the sky and our photos already looking better. Now I didn't really like how my trees and my rocks get darker the further you go to the top of the photo. I wanted to draw more attention to those so I wanted to brighten them up. I'm going to use the dodge tool. The cool thing about the dodge tool is that you can have it target which brightness levels you want it to affect. So you come up here you can see you have brightness, midtones, and shadows. So I'm going to leave it on shadows. And then you'll see as I drag it over the branches here, it's lightening up the branches, but it's not lightening up the sky because it's only going to lighten what is already dark. So it's not going to overexpose something that's already bright, it's just gonna bring up the brightness of the shadows. So that's where the dodge tool is really handy. So I'm just gonna use that a bit more on this tree here. Just brighten those up a bit so that in our final photo, the trees will actually look green instead of just black silhouette against the sky. The sun is also just way too dark here, so I'm gonna make an artificial sun flare. All you gotta do is make a new layer and then come in with your paintbrush tool. I have a round feather edge brush. Just click once, make a nice circle there of white. I think I'm gonna come in here with a bit of yellow as well. Super simple, we got ourselves a sun flare. And that is all I'm gonna do here in Photoshop. I do want to tinker with the colors a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that in Lightroom because Lightroom's gonna give us more control over the colors. So I'm just going to save this photo and then reopen it in Lightroom. I'm going to apply a preset to this. I have a preset called Modern. Moody. This is actually a preset that I made myself. All of the Lightroom presets that I use on a regular basis I give to you guys for free, so there'll be a link for those in the description below. So I've got my Modern Moody preset on there, already making the picture look a lot better. I'm gonna bring up the vibrance just a little bit, and then I'm gonna come down here to Color Mix, bring up the saturation on green, just make those trees pop a bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the yellow. Make the orange a bit more vivid as well, just make that sun flare a bit more saturated. And I think I'm gonna bring up the overall brightness of the photo as well, just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna call that good. So here's my final photo. And here's before and after. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go check out some of my other videos right here, and I'll see you guys next time.